I see a ton of videos already over on YouTube talking about adding a chat overlay on top of your gameplay. But what about everything else that's happening during your stream that you want to be able to see? Can you stream from a single PC with one monitor or a laptop and be able to do everything that you would with a dedicated streaming PC? That's what we're going to talk about today. There could be multiple reasons why you're not ready to add a second monitor to your setup. It could be money. Maybe you just got into streaming and you're not ready to start that investment, or you just don't have room at your workspace to add a second monitor. Whatever the case may be, I've got some tricks so that you can see your chat, your alerts, and even a preview of your stream so you don't miss anything while you're in your gameplay. So the first program that we're gonna be looking at today is called restream.io chat. This is a chat application that lets you view and respond to the chat from Twitch or YouTube or whatever streaming platform you're using. Um, you're gonna be able to view this chat on top of your gameplay. So to demonstrate, I'm gonna go ahead and share my display and the chat will be open over a Chrome browser for now. Okay, so you can see the chat application to the right. Uh, it's transparent so that you can see your gameplay underneath. We're gonna go into the settings, gonna go to appearance. And here's the settings you're primarily gonna be messing with. Uh, so you can see a viewer counter, how many people are watching in your stream, uh, avatars from your chat. You've got the scale of the text. And then these are the two settings that you're probably gonna be most interested in. So you've got always on top. So that keeps the application on top of your game or whatever application that you're using at that time, as well as click through mode. So what click through mode does is it allows you to click on the chat application, but you're not actually doing anything. I can't type a message. So open the settings back up. So I've got to hold left control in order to be able to type In that way, I don't screw up my gameplay. Um, the chat's just visible, but in order to activate this window, I have to hold down a second button. Um, so that's a great feature. And this allows me to view my Twitch chat while I'm streaming from my single monitor and inside of a game. So one feature that I did miss inside of the Restream chat application is this background opacity. So this is gonna change your chat window from completely opaque to completely transparent and will let you see your gameplay better. So mess around with this and adjust it to your liking. And there are a lot of advanced features within this application. There's already a lot of great tutorials already on YouTube and on the internet. So if you want more information, you know, go ahead and, and look those up. But this video is primarily just focused on being able to see your chat over your gameplay while you're streaming. So the next program that you're gonna need in order to view all of your alerts and notifications and everything that's happening inside of your stream within the Restream chat application is gonna be Stream Elements. I really like Stream Elements because you don't have to download any software to your computer. Everything's gonna happen through their website. Uh, so to utilize this, you're gonna log in with your Twitch or YouTube or Facebook ID, whatever platform you're using to stream. You're gonna to go to My Dashboard Stream Elements offers all sorts of alerts and custom notifications um, in addition to this feature. Uh, those are what I use on my stream specifically. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to go to Bot and then to Modules. And you're going to see Chat Alert. So you're going to want to make sure this box is checked. And then if you click the drop down, you've got customization for all of these features. So if you wanna see your followers, tips, subscribers, whatever notifications you want to show up inside of your chat, uh, you'll enable here. And then you can also customize the message that happens when that notification is triggered. Um, so this is gonna let you see all of those notifications that are happening in your stream within the chat application while you're streaming a game on a single monitor. So the last program that I wanna talk about today that's gonna really help you be able to visualize anything that's going on inside your stream is called On Top Replica. So here's the website where you go to download this. If you scroll down, you can see the latest version released as an actual installer file. Click on that and go ahead and download the file from here. I'll have a link down in my description linking you to this page. 
Uh, I went ahead and downloaded this program already. Uh, I got it open right here. And so what I'm gonna do is personally, I'm gonna go to my Twitch stream manager page. And so one of the things that I would really like to be able to see while I'm running my stream inside of the game is the actual capture of my stream. You know, something else you might wanna see is your bit rate so that you can measure your stream quality if you're on a slower PC. Um, but being able to see what's actually happening, even if it's very small inside my stream, such as if I have the right scene loaded in OBS is important to me. So here's the application. We're gonna right click to start and then we're gonna select a window that we wanna capture. So I'm gonna go ahead and capture this stream manager um, Google Chrome window. And now you can see I'm capturing this entire Google Chrome page inside of the application. I can go ahead and resize this window to whatever I want. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select a region since all I wanna see is the area um, that shows the video of my stream. So I'm gonna select a region. I'm gonna crop this down to here. And now I'm just seeing what's gonna be happening during my stream. So I can make this smaller, click done, I'm happy with that. Make this as small as I want or as big as I want. And then, so there's some additional settings that are gonna be important. So we've got opacity, so we can make this semi-transparent so we can still see our gameplay underneath this uh, screen capture. And we're also can go to advanced and then we've got enable click through. So the same thing with the restream IO chat application, we wanna turn click through on so we're not accidentally clicking on this window while we're in our gameplay. So we enable click through. Now I can click on my Chrome window and you can see that this stays here. I can click on top of it, can't move it around. So this is a great feature. It will let you capture anything in any window on your computer and permanently keep it on your screen as a transparent window. Um, and, you know, and then I can see my video of my stream in this box. So I think it's super useful. Um, it's a small program and it should be very useful to you as well. All right, guys, sorry for the weird effects that are going on in OBS right now. I don't really have a better way to show you this, uh, but we're going to talk about hotkeys next. So this is the last item that you need to really be able to control everything that's going on in your stream while you just have a single monitor with your game open. And so to, to set our different hotkeys, we're going to go down here to settings. Open the settings, go over to hotkeys. And you can assign a hotkey to any of these features within OBS. So you're gonna to go to the box that you wanna set a feature for and you're gonna press whatever key that's on your keyboard um, that you want to use to activate that feature. So what I did for the purpose of this video is I set up uh, hotkeys for the different scenes in OBS. So I have a gaming scene set to number one, a talking scene set to number two, um, and then the scene that we're on currently is number four. So I'm gonna set those up. For example, hit four, it's gonna fill that in, hit apply, and then okay. And I left the on top replica application open in this left corner so that you can see what's going on as well. And this would be the same thing that you would see while you're monitoring uh, your stream manager on the Twitch website and you have a screen capture of your actual stream. So then I can switch between different scenes in my OBS by pressing the number keys. If I wanna to go to my gaming scene, I'm gonna press number one, my talking scene, number two. And then if I wanna go back to the scene that we were previously looking at, I'll press number four. And so this way I can use the on top replica and the hotkeys within OBS to make sure that my stream is on the scene that I wanted and that everything looks good. And so I think with all four of these features that we've talked about in this video combined, it is very possible to get a very high quality stream from a single monitor or from your laptop while you are inside of your gameplay. If you guys found this video helpful and you wanna see more videos like this one, please like and subscribe down below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And if you wanna hang out with me after, you can find me over on Twitch on Tuesdays and Sundays uh, it'd be great to have you in the stream and thank you for watching this video.